welcome back to my channel. Today is an Ansia Sound Art Canvas inspired tutorial. Don't know what one of those is? Well, let me just tell you. That is what an Ansia Sound Art Canvas is. And I get to help you guys figure out ways that you guys can spruce up canvases so that when you get one, you can decide how you want to make it, whether you want to make it for a gift or for someone else, which is usually what a gift is, or for yourself or for your home decor or whatever. So today we are going to be making a glitter earth. Can you guys see it? My lights kind of make it look funny, but it's definitely a glitter earth on, can you see it look a little bit like this? So it's the earth in glitter, if you guys didn't get that already but it's a watercolor earth in glitter. So this is really cute. I think it's a cute project. I think it turned out pretty okay. All right, so let's get going. And the awesome part about these is I'm doing them on fabric. So if I didn't like this, I could take it off the canvas and I could start over. So make sure to do some fun projects like this if you're afraid to start on your Ansia canvases. So let's get going. All right, so I just started by taking some fabric and measuring it out the size of my canvas, large enough to go around the outside. And I cut that all around the square. Then I just ironed it to make sure it'd be nice and flat. And after I did this, I decided I would have done it all first and then put it onto my canvas because um, the Mod Podge stretched the fabric out a little bit. But this way wasn't that bad, so. You can do it this way or you can do it the way that I just said by putting the entire um, Mod Podge stuff onto the fabric and then doing this technique right here. And I'm just hot gluing this on and you'll notice in a lot of my videos I'm going to be showing you how to do canvas um, fabric onto canvases in different ways. So like my last one I did Mod Podge, this one I'm using hot glue and I will use a different couple other techniques so you guys can make sure to check those out as well. Okay, so I have a file on my website that is the seven continents and I cut them out onto black vinyl and originally I was just going to put the black vinyl on there but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do um, glitter or how I wanted to do that so I'm kind of excited how it turned out either way but you could stop at any point by just leaving the black vinyl on there if you wanted. So then I just arranged them and the reason I cut them out all separately was so that I could save space on my uh, material. I didn't have to cut on a huge piece of material. So I cut these out and put them onto there. And if you guys don't know how to use vinyl, make sure to check out some of my basic tutorials on cutting with the Cricut and all that good stuff. So once I had my vinyl on there, I went ahead and took some Mod Podge and just brushed it around all of the black and made sure I got in all the little cracks where there was negative space. Um, and then after that I doused it with some glitter and I'm using just some gold glitter that I got at Michaels for this and I just made sure to get a lot of glitter around and then I went over it with some Mod Podge and then I went over it with some more glitter and then I went over it with some more Mod Podge just to make sure that it was fully full and then before it was completely dry I took my vinyl off so things didn't peel and you'll notice that it's kind of white still because that's because it's not dry yet once it's dry it'll be nice and clear and you'll be able to see that so if I could do this again I would go in and put a lot more glitter and I would also maybe use a different color on the background um, just so that you could see this better but I probably would just use a lot more glitter um, just to make sure that those pop 